The opening decade of the 21st century was a remarkable one for Wren. What would you choose as the landmark events that have defined the company? The first uh, landmark event would be the purchase of natural gas assets that uh, made REN one of the very few companies in the world that managed together the main infrastructures of electricity and natural gas together. The second uh, important event I recall is the first stage of the privatization of the company through an IPO that took place in July 2007 and which uh, uh, placed the company among the 20 uh, most important Portuguese companies in the stock exchange. And the third is more recently the beginning of uh, uh, the company starting to work abroad, selling several um, energy services, uh, mostly to emergent economies. And so the company ceased to be a pure uh, domestic company and became uh, a more outward-looking uh, enterprise. REN is one of a select number of European operators managing both electrical and natural gas infrastructures. How do the two parts of the business fit together? There's a, a strong fit between uh, both infrastructures. First of all, as you may know, uh, natural gas is... Uh, currently maybe the most important fossil technology to produce electricity. Natural gas fired power plants are maybe the best match for renewable generation because they are very flexible uh, in balancing the uh, variations of um, renewable generation. So it helps us to balance, to keep always the, the Portuguese energy system well balanced in spite of the fact that uh, more than half of our electricity comes from wind or water. It helps us all the hours of the day to keep uh, supply uh, perfectly balanced with demand. How are these core business activities, electricity and natural gas, performing? Well, energy is one of the um, most important activities uh, in the world uh, currently and in the coming decades. This is mostly due to demography, um, to the fact that uh, a substantial part of the world population does not have as yet access to electricity. And so it's a very dynamic uh, sector indeed. In Portugal, we are having a very fast change of all the energy landscape due to the fact that we are one of the most renewable countries in the world. As I said, we produce more than half of our electricity from renewable sources, and that places also very important challenges for the guys that are managing the grid as ourselves. So renewable energy sources play a big part in the picture going forward? Absolutely. And uh, for REN in particular, all this uh, renewable energy that is coming into our system places uh, a lot of challenges to keep always the system with the same level of reliability and the same level of uh, balance. We ensure that the Portuguese population always has the lights on uh, in spite of the fact that sometimes the wind uh, comes down or uh, that we have one or two dry years in the row. We ensure that that does not mean any blackouts, we have a very high standard of quality of service and of reliability of, of our supply. So what's the outlook now for your investors? Well, I think that our investors uh, have uh, two good reasons to, to be happy with the prospects of REN. First of all, uh, we have a high growth prospect due to the fact that energy is a growing uh, sector and also to the fact that all this very fast change uh, linked to the uh, concerns with carbon emissions mean that the networks are key to ensure a more decarbonized energy sector and to integrate all these renewable energies in the system. Second, um, we are a very stable business because we are a regulated business. So in times of risk aversion, like uh, 
the last couple of years, REN provides uh, an excellent opportunity for a low risk, in spite of the growth prospects that it offers to investors. Finally, I would add that we have a high dividend yield, and this is also an important. Our current dividend yield is between 5 and 6% a year, which is, in current times, a very attractive remuneration of the capital invested. So finally, looking ahead, how would you summarize the vision for REN in the next decade? I think that uh, REN will play an important role, first of all, in the energy revolution that is taking place uh, more or less uh, everywhere around the world, and especially in Europe, with all the increase of the so-called supergrids that will ensure that all the regions uh, are more closely uh, linked together and that all this renewable energy that is coming on stream does not put in danger the reliability of the energy systems. Uh, we will also be involved, as I said, in a lot of activities with emergent energy markets where we place our skills and our technological experience in the service of some fast-growing energy systems. Rui Katasho, thank you. Thank you. It was a, a pleasure to, to talk to World Finance and, to, uh, and for REN it's, uh, it's an honor to be awarded this, uh, this prize. Thank you.